pay them well, give them a sense of, of autonomy, give them a chance to get better at something that matters, mastery, and attach them to some kind of purpose. You wrote one of my favorite books of all time, Drive. And the book really covers how human motivation is counterintuitive. Can you share a little with our audience what you've learned about motivation over the years? Because I think regret is often a powerful motivator. What I did is I went back and looked at about 50 years of science on human motivation. And what it tells us is that human beings are complex. We have a lot of different motivations, but I think there's a certain kind of motivator that we use in organizations. I call it an if-then reward. As in, if you do this, then you get that. If you do this, then you get that. Here's what 50 years of science tells us, not about all rewards, but about if-then rewards. They're very good for simple tasks with short time horizons. It narrows our focus. And when you're doing something more complex, more conceptual, more complicated with a longer time horizon, you want to look expansively. And so the problem is, is that we use these if then rewards for everything rather than the area where they work best. And if we want to actually refine how we motivate people in organizations, what we're going to need to do is get rid of a lot of these if then rewards, pay them well, give them a sense of, of autonomy, give them a chance to get better at something that matters, mastery, and attach them to some kind of purpose. That is a far better recipe for enduring motivation.